Decor. My name is Shelly and I'm thrilled that you are back on this uh, Friday so that you can see what I'm doing to continue to prepare for my Tropical Vibes tablescape which you will see tomorrow. So when I was setting the table I thought you know I, you know, I always use knife rests and these are the knife rests that I normally use and they're made these two are made out of glass and this one here is made out of metal and a number of you have said to me over time that you struggle to find knife rests and when you find them they're very expensive so I've had my knife rests for years and years and years I can't even tell you how many years I've had them um, and I use them for all occasions but then I was thinking when I set my table for tomorrow, which you're going to see, is that I could show you how to make knife rests very simply. And when I turn my mind to it, and my husband and I talked about it, we talked about maybe making them in wood, and then I thought, would they really be food safe? And then I turned my mind to these silicone straws. Now, I've owned these pink and green silicone straws for a couple of years. I rarely use them because I really don't like what the liquid tastes like when I'm drinking water out of it or Diet Coke, whatever the case may be. And so I've moved to metal straws. So what I thought I'd do is I would take these and I thought I would create these particular knife rests here. They're taken off of these particular napkin rings. So let me show you what I did. So I took my little silicone straw, simply cut it, made it straight, made my end straight. The nice thing about these, when if you're gonna make your own, you have to have something that's going to actually stand up to a, you know, a, a, a knife, whether it's a steak knife or a regular dinner knife, whatever the case may be. That's the good thing about these. They do stand up to knives, both steak knives and regular knives. So you'll notice I've cut three. So one straw makes three. That's, that's, that's another thing. So I had previously painted my little sandals and my little pineapples with this acrylic paint that I get from the Dollar Tree. You know, I love pink and green, so that was easy. This, this came with a whole set that had some tropical trees, and I got this set at the Dollar Tree some time ago. So once I've painted them, all I need to do, this is so easy, but let me tell you how easy it is. I take a little tiny bit of E6000 glue. Let me show you. You have to make sure that you're, that you're, that it won't roll away. So I actually need to rest it on the silicone. So watch this. Take a little bit of E6000 glue. Now you can use hot glue as well. And you just rest it on it. And that'll keep it from rolling about. You do the exact same thing with the shoes, exactly the same thing. Yeah, so that nothing rolls about. How cute they are. So when I'm done sticking them on to the little knife rest component, I'm going to take my little sandal and my little uh, pineapple and I'm just going to put some bl bling on. So just take a look what I've done there. I simply take my E6000, pop a little bit on, and then I just take it and put it on the toe like most of my sandals that have glitz all over them. So this is just, you know, inexpensive bling again that I buy at the Dollar Tree. And I just glue it on. Now you may wonder why I didn't put um, some glitter on these and that's because they're going to be near, you know, they're going to be near utensils that people will eat from. So I thought I better not put any glitter on because I certainly don't want people to be eating glitter. 
But look at how delightfully simple these are. Simple, delightful, summery. They can go outside when I have my guests outside and my family outside for dinner. And you know what? They're just fun. Now, my next project is something that I was going to do entirely different. I had a, a very, very different idea for my summer sign. But I thought, you know, with all that's going on in the world right now, um, I'm going to do something entirely different because I want my family and my friends, when, when my friends can ultimately come here, to know how much I care about them. I want you to know, my viewer, how much I care about you and how much I have faith that the world will be a better place for all of us. Okay, I mean, just like you, I've been watching what has been transpiring um, in the news in the last uh, couple of weeks, and both Harold and I are astonished and very saddened by it all. So I thought, you know what, my summer sign, which I have already started, is going to reflect what I think is so important in this world. Now, you've seen this sign before. Last summer, you know, we created this sign. Um, I'll link that video to, um, you know, to this one, and that'll show you how I made the top of it. And then I always wanted it as a sign that I could change up for every season. So let me show you what I did. I went to the Dollar Tree. I found this little decal. All I did was peel it off and stick it here, all right, because I just wanted one of the two. I didn't, you know, the pack one is off. I just wanted one of the two. Then I went down in my stash and I found these mirrored letters. You can buy them at the Dollar Tree, and you notice things are falling off. And all I do is I'm just going to take them. Now, I've owned these for a number of years. We use them um, for an outdoor drink station when our youngest daughter got married. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to pull this out. I love the sentiment behind it. Family, faith, and friends. Because, you know, in our world, everyone who comes to our home gets treated like their family. I want people in my home to feel comfortable. I want them to know that they are welcome. And I want them to fully understand that regardless of their race, religion, creed, gender identification, whatever the case may be, that they are welcome here. And that I know that when we all work together with a little bit of faith, that we can treat everyone like family and friends in our world together. So it's pretty, it's girly. I can talk to my grandbabies about this, not that they're watching the news, but you know, education starts early and I want them to know how much they are loved. I want them to know how everyone who comes in contact with them, that they need to treat um, with consideration and kindness and to have some faith that the world is a good place and that it is meant to be a good place for all of us. So I hope you come back tomorrow to see my tablescape. It is over the top, it is so much fun, and the tropical vibes will be just a dancing on my table. So until next time, I'll see you again very shortly.